Hello everyone and welcome to a different video. We are going to be overviewing the entire August wave uh, for all themes. So starting off with architecture, we do have the Great Pyramid of Giza, which is going to set you back $130. However, it does come with a good piece count of 1476 which is pretty good. Uh, you do get a nice bit of pyramid action here with the big one itself. You get some small ones, some sphinxes. You also get a little bit of a city with an obelisk and some boats just kind of coming down the river with a bunch of greenery, which is very nice. And then you've got yourself a nice entrance hall here, which is interesting. I would imagine that it would, a port would make more sense seeing as how we have the boats, but it does have a grand entrance with a bit of a statue. The box art also looks absolutely stunning with just honestly the architecture right here and the sand greebling just looks really good. We do get some other shots of it here. Uh, like that one and it also can uh, you can remove the top here which is nice and you can have an under construction look which also looks very nice you have some uh, pulley systems here to kind of get all the materials up there to finish the construction and also another look at the pathway kind of leading you up into the pyramid and also shot of some boats also there's a little bit of a crack in the back if you're interested with some dimensions of 35 centimeters 13.5 inches at the bottom there and a height of 20 centimeters 8 inches pretty big pretty nice overall going to be a very nice aesthetic piece for architecture fan lego art is coming in with two new sets the first one being this floral art here which is going to set you back 80 dollars. however it does give you the option of three different flower types which is nice you've got these pink flowers here with some nice blue and darker blue accents for the leaves with some yellow to help it pop uh, we also have a side angle of it. We also do have these leaves here with these pinkish flowers. Very bright here with some uh, white, pink, some tan, but also a sharp yellow and magenta coloration to kind of make it pop. Very interesting if you like that kind of aesthetic. Or you can go with this uh, other flower here, which is yellow with pink in the inside. And it's got like a little bit of a stem there for pollination purposes with some big leaves stemming out. Very interesting. It's not really my type of set that i would buy however if you want some lego decoration this is definitely a set to pick up or if the flowers don't really suit your taste we do have the rolling stones here for 150 dollars, which is a decent price point however you do got the classic rolling stones logo here which is definitely going to be a centerpiece because well you've just got yourself a large mouth with tongue sticking out of it so that is definitely going to be impressive piece right there it does have two less than 2,000 pieces, so 1,998, which is definitely going to be a decent build, especially when you've got a lot of small pieces to place down. But it is definitely a piece of work here that you can just have hanging on your wall. And honestly, even from like a distance, it does, it feels like it has texture, which is a weird thing to be describing a tongue, but you do have texture and you do have something that can definitely be seen as made of lego from up close but from a distance you don't really have that lego aesthetic so if you want something that's made of lego but you don't want it to be immediately recognized as lego this is also a thing or just for rolling stones fan this is probably going to be a pretty interesting set that you may or may not want to pick up starting off with our brick heads we do have the uh manchester united go brick me which is just one of the brick heads uh lineup or just customize it and build it the way you want for the manchester united football team which is pretty nice or soccer which is what i should be referring to it as but i'm gonna call it football and you do get yourself a soccer football player and then you get yourself a goal net right there in the back and the box pretty interesting you can customize it with 530 pieces looks pretty nice it is still currently coming soon and will retail for 20 dollars so if you're interested in Manchester United, you might pick this one up or not. On that topic, though, we do also have the FC Barcelona team here also showing off. So you can also do the same thing that we discussed there. Still the same piece count, still the same pieces inside, except for the change in uniform. So basically the same set, just a different team. If you're interested in either of those, you can pick them up for $20 when they are available in your area. Next up, we have some Brickhead Fish, or the Koi Fish here, which are going to make an excellent addition to anybody's Koi Pond, because these things are very, very silly looking. You do have what I'm assuming can only be a teacup right there for the mouth, and then a little bit of a pin piece there. Very nice. You do have some printed pieces and some nice coloration there with some lovely flowers there. These are just great. These are honestly fantastic, and I'm very much debating whether or not I should buy these because they look very good. 
And you also have a glimpse of the poodle, which is also now available, which we'll get to in a second. But Brickhead's Pets, these koi fish look great. And if you're interested, they will cost you or set you back $15, which isn't that much for these adorable looking fish. If you're going for something more that's going to set you back to the hairstylist multiple times per month, you can get yourself the poodle and the baby poodle here next to this lovely little lamppost. Very nice with the gold and black aesthetic there. You do get two poodles, of course, one of the, both of them having a collar. This one with a heart collar there and with a nice little orange box here. You do get the puppy and the poodle and you're going to have 304 pieces, which is a decent amount uh, for these two poodles. Just sitting there, chilling, doing nothing much. But if you want some poodles, you can buy some poodles. If you're going for something more that's going to set you back to the hairstylist multiple times per month, you can get yourself the poodle and the baby poodle here next to this lovely little lamppost. Very nice with the gold and black aesthetic there. You do get two poodles, of course, one of the, both of them having a collar. This one with a heart collar there. And with a nice little orange box here, you do get the puppy and the poodle. And you're going to have 304 pieces, which is a decent amount uh, for these two poodles. Just sitting there, chilling, doing nothing much. But if you want some poodles, you can buy some poodles. And of course, getting some Star Wars in here with the new Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader brickheads here. Looking very good. Kenobi looking very strange here. Just kind of not sure what he is doing at the moment. But... Uh, he does have some great detailing there with his robe also looking very nice here. Not too sure if I'm going to pick these up. Uh, not really the biggest person for Brickheads, but uh, you know, this might uh, change my opinion. Darth Vader looks really good in here through the brick fed, Brickheads format though. Really good use of pieces and hopefully those are prints because I can assume that those would be very difficult to get on if they're not. Box art looks very good with the little duel on this side there. Very nice though. And another shot of these. Very good. You know, you can definitely have some duels, although they are going to be pretty sad because I don't know. You are going to have to restructure the arms each time. So very interesting. I don't think Obi-Wan has too much posability there, but you'll see. Pretty nice brick heads here. Good design overall if you want to spend the $20 to get them. You know, good investment for you because they're pretty good. Next up, we're going to go with Lego City and we're going to cover the little stunt bikes real quick. Uh, we first of all have the bathtub, which is already temporary out of stock, $8, all of these. Very good if you just want a bathtub motorbike, and you also get yourself a rubber ducky and a faucet. Pretty nice here. We do also have the reckless scorpion here, which is pretty interesting. You know, you've got yourself the scorpion bike here and also a scorpion, pretty expected. And then you've also got yourself the touring stunt bike, which is pretty all right. I mean, these are nothing too special, but uh, they're there if you want them. Now on to the rest of LEGO City. First of all, we've got the new release of the Advent Calendar, which is why I waited so that I can see if maybe the Advent Calendars would be revealed. And of course, we do have one here, which is going to be the LEGO City one. And of course, coming in with your Santa Claus, you've got yourself some rockets, you've got yourself a cat, you've got yourself a pony there, you've got yourself some chickens, you've got some mailboxes, you've got a little mayor, mail courier, you've got some ice skaters, you've got some child writing some letters there and you've got yourself a bunch of little fun stuff that you can mess around with some cakes some toys some fun stuff there for 35 dollars which is expected for an advent calendar next up we've got some stunt blades which are from the stunt lineup which is like okay you can go ahead and play some ping pong with some swords and that's about it what you're getting for the 35 dollar price point of this set Next, we have the Knockdown Stunt Challenge, which is just going to have you knocking down some cakes, some trophies, or a scorpion. So choose wisely or else you'll probably get some stuff on you. Although all would probably be pretty painful if they fell on you. So you can pick that up for $35 as well. We also do have the Shark Attack Stunt Challenge, which is pretty interesting because it is pirate themed and it has yourself with a pirate skeleton and some treasure fun stuff but it's kind of met as well there's nothing particularly interesting about this stunt lineup however i figured i should cover it being the fact that we are covering everything or as much as possible onto something a bit more interesting you've got yourself the space ride truck here which is pretty interesting you can have yourself a portable little uh attraction here for any theme park builders out there and it folds up really nicely to make this kind of 
arched looking truck back which honestly this this would just look great on a road just having this attraction just kind of folded up and just driving some road and the rest of it just kind of shows off the attraction because it can spin you can do a bunch of rotation work nothing too crazy about the ride itself if you want to spin some aliens round and round go ahead uh, or just want to place this somewhere on the road go ahead it is fifty dollars so it is definitely a chuffy price point to say the least but it might be worth it depending on who you are next up we're getting into the heftier stuff at a 70 dollar grocery store now if you've ever wanted the grocery store this is definitely your time definitely expensive but you do get some fun stuff you definitely get a forklift to load all the stuff inside you've got yourself an atm machine you've got some products you've got a shopping cart which i don't know if has been in lego before but if not it's great uh, you've got yourself some definitely some stuff that you can sell you do get yourself a p salesman right here to really advertise uh the store here and you've definitely got some fun stuff here to do especially with the uh, farmer's market truck and some of the other stuff you can definitely make use of a grocery store right about now especially with all the farm stuff that they've added so definitely fits in with the wave it might be a bit questionable at 70 dollars, especially since you only get 404 pieces but that's for you to decide anyways if you set that aside and you look at it this is definitely a nice set uh pretty pricey though i must admit but that's basically that. Again, with the stunts lineup, we do have the smashing chimpanzee. So you do get a loop-de-loop -loop and you get to hit the chimpanzee in the face or get hit by one. So definitely interesting. Not going to spend too much time on this. Next, we have something far more interesting with the return of the train stations here. Now, you do get yourself a little bit of a street crossing, which looks very good. Definitely better than some of the previous year's one from previous years you do get a nice little blue bus which i find great big fan of buses uh specifically because uh some of my earlier one of my earliest sets did contain a yellow bus with the city corner there that was very nice you do get yourself a bike you do get yourself a little bit of a maintenance vehicle that can go on both street and track which is very nice you know you've got that portable potty and you've got some utility there very nice You've got yourself a little bit of bench, ATM machine, some nice greenery there, and a little bit of station interior, which I will try to find a picture of. You do get a bike rack on the bus, which is very nice, and also this is separate, so you can have it on the tracks, kind of blocking some stuff, or do whatever you wish with it, really. You do get the ticket sales and some, okay, let's see. You do get yourself a little bit of route and some tickets. Next door, you do have the ticket shop and some very interesting stuff nonetheless can't really get a good view of what's up there in the tower probably just a control room given by the chair but still a very nice set there if you're interested very good hundred dollar train station definitely seen some other ones that could top this one uh but this is very good very nice modern design there for this train station definitely recommend picking this one up if you're planning on building yourself a train kind of railway in the near future again with the stunts a lot of stunts here coming in with very hot price points there double loot stunt arena with 160 dollars i don't see the value here personally i don't see it you've got yourself a snake and a flame wall but really these are some very pricey sets for not a lot of value which you'll see in a second for similar price points because if you add yourself 30 dollars you've got this incredible looking express passenger train now I am the uh, I am a proud owner of the bullet train that they released a few years ago, and honestly, this one looks very good. Uh, I think that this one looks pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of the front nose here, but the lighting bricks definitely make up for that at least a little bit. And the passenger cars here with the doors, good functionality. You know, you can actually put your passengers inside there, and also lift the roof for easy access. Of course. Nice little small station there with an accessibility ramp, which is very nice to see, you know, making it very good. You've got yourself a bike. You've got a good amount of people as well. Uh, for trains, normally they're not this generous with uh, people to actually use a train, but this one's pretty nice for that. You know, you've got some great storage and utility, and it's pretty big to both. Uh, it is $190, but then again, the last trains were a bit expensive there. The passenger train was $10 cheaper, however, the cargo train which we'll get to in a second was also 230 dollars i believe this one's 200 uh somewhere there around 200 we'll see that in a second though 
and finally the freight train which is $300 cheaper so if you wanted a cargo train now is definitely a good time to get it of course it does have a thousand one hundred and fifty three pieces which is pretty low but it is a train so it does have a bunch of mechanical bits in there as well to kind of uh, make it run so it is a self-driving train with well a remote driving train but you do get yourself a little bit of car uh, carrier here which is great we haven't seen one of those in a train before I don't believe at least to this scale get yourself one of these cargo haulers here so you can put a bunch of your mi rocks from either your mine your arctic base a bunch of utility there you do get this larger crane here made out of a decent amount of technic pieces to carry around these precious little plants which will go great with your farming setup you do get these little crates here which you can probably change and use for cargo delivery for your uh, I'm trying to say the grocery store and you've also got yourself an electric charging station for your electric cars pretty interesting layout here for the city stuff we have been going a lot about the city but there is a bunch of stuff that they've released and you can also put the charging station into this one right here which is pretty nice a lot of uh, diversity in what you can do with this train and it's pretty sizable for what you're paying which is pretty good you want to see some good value in a set that's definitely on the price around but it does seem to have some good value with that price point and now on to the classic where we've got the build together now this is definitely an expensive set for a hundred dollars however you do get yourself 1601 pieces of just free building with some building instructions 24 of models which are available built and you know you got some you get some stuff uh Get some stuff, you know, that's just, uh, you can build some stuff from the instructions that are included, or you can just free build, uh, if you're definitely interested in the pieces from this, which may or may not be to your liking. If you want more specific pieces, you can always just go for pick a brick, but if you just want a wide assortment of who knows what, this might be a set for you. It is a bit pricey, so keep that in mind when purchasing this, if you decide to, but it is definitely going to provide you with some entertainment if you choose to purchase it. Now on to the Creator 3-in-1, which does have some interesting stuff. First of all, we've got the Sunken Treasure mission here, which can either have you with an octopus and a little bit of a submarine looking for a sunken safe. Uh, you can have yourself a manta ray with a small little coral reef with your little diver here trying to get some pictures without angering the manta ray. Or you can have yourself a bit of a crayfish lobster here with a little bit of a cave with a ground diver unfortunate ran into some trouble down there didn't quite make it out in time with a little bit of a diving sub there for exploration next up on our list we do have this downtown noodle shop here which is pretty nice you've got your noodle shop and a little bit of a house there you do have yourself a dog and a bit of an ice cream stand outside and a vending machine on creator street there you do also have another view of it which has a little bit of a bird and some plants there with some technical bits there for your satellite so you also can have this bike repair shop here with a newsstand if you're interested you can have this with a little bit of a uh, news delivery or newspaper delivery cart there which is currently broken and in the repair shop so you've got a little bit of fun stuff that you can do with that different angle of it or you can have yourself the video game store or arcade there you do i can see a few arcade machines there so i'm assuming it's an arcade very well built and well designed there if you're a fan of video games you might want to pick this up it is a bit pricey for just the video game stand what you're probably going to be looking at this most is whether you want that noodle shop but hey who knows you might want to expand your uh city there so you might want to pick this up who we've knows? also got expanding the definitely interesting lineup we definitely hit a high point with the pirate ship then it unfortunately went a bit downhill with the castle still a good castle but uh didn't really pique my interest the new one however definitely is one for collectors here and now we're going to be tying up another set here with the viking ship and midgard serpent here which is definitely pricier as it does cost 20 more dollars however you do get a decent amount here with 1192 pieces which is more than the other sets which is good uh you do get a viking long ship here with a cow four vikings of course and also the serpent which looks pretty good so you definitely get a decent amount of value with the main build there you can have yourself a viking longhouse here which looks also really good you can have yourself a little bit of a start to your viking village there with a little bit of a phoenix i would imagine just kind of burn things down there pretty interesting or you can have yourself this great wolf here with a tree pretty lackluster build i must say 
not really the biggest fan for these animals here. Uh, but uh, the other two definitely pose some interest for whether or not you want to buy them is another question, but those are definitely the highlights for, of this set for me at least. Now, we couldn't forget with LEGO Icon starting off with the Galaxy Explorer, which is a remastered version of an old system set, which was the Galaxy Explorer here. And this is much bigger and cleaner here, but it does still retain some of the original aspects of the old build here. We do get some spa classic space astronauts here with the red astronaut and the white astronaut here. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a more diverse lineup instead of just the red and the white astronaut here. Still very good to see. There was a little while ago, there was an astronaut pack, so might be why they didn't do that. Could have used it alongside this one still. But unfortunately, we don't have that anymore. You do get yourself a little buggy, a little bit of a coffee robot or tea robot. Probably would prefer some tea, but uh, who knows there with that. Do get a lot of good features, some sirens there, some computers, some fun stuff, you know, do some good exploration. And you've also got those side uh, thrusters there to act as little vehicles, which is always very nice and handy. A lot of playability, lots of display value in this set, so overall very nice for that $100 price point. Next up, we do have the Chevy Camaro Z28, which is definitely pretty hefty for $170. However, you do get a decent amount of customization with a little bit of color diversity there to add some stripes of either silver, red, or white, of course, with a detachable roof there. You do have some custom license plates that you can put on, depending on which one you want, and you have some interchangeable headlights there, which is pretty nice, and you can kind of customize it with some lucky dice hanging over there in the windshield or rear view mirror. A lot really nice build here. Definitely has some... Uh, displayability you can show off the engine if you want to and kind of nice to have you know if you're a car person you might want this doesn't really serve too much of a purpose like you can definitely give this to a child and have them play with it but you probably don't want them bashing it into every surface so there's also that but still really nice looking chevy camaro z28 here from lego if you want it you can buy it. if you don't you can kind of just pass it off and buy something else really if you want Next up, we do have the Atari system here with some nice little games there. You've got Adventure, and you've also got the Atari Centipede, which you also have some miniatures here for Asteroids, which is very nice. Adventure here, and Centipede, which is a very nice touch, I must say. You've got yourself a little thing there of someone playing with the Atari, which that little thing looks really good there. You've got yourself a little shelf for your games that, of course, holding Asteroid. And you've got yourself the controller, of course. Honestly, very good looking console here. I must say, well done. It will set you back $240, but I think many people who also enjoyed the uh, I'm forgetting, Nintendo NES. I think they will also enjoy this because this also looks very good. The wood texturing also, I must say, very good here. Uh, you do get some fun uh, uses out of this where you can interchange the display, which is very nice. And you also get some high quality stuff there. And also a little bit of memorabilia there for the games, which is always very nice. Set very much going to bring back some good nostalgia for some people. Might be enough to buy it. Might be enough to kind of just look at it and think, you know what, I'll pass. And of course, we've got ourselves, which releases tomorrow, the $400 Lion Knight's Castle. Now, if you ever wanted a castle and were like, okay, well, these currently, these castles are going to set me back like 500 upwards dollars. This is, this is definitely going to be a moment for you. 22 minifigures, 4,514 pieces. Honestly, stunning. You've got yourself a lot to do here. You've got a bunch of areas to sell your goods got a bunch of areas of travel you've got definitely a bunch of entrances to the castle a lot of defending points if you've got yourself anything you've got yourself a secure perimeter you've got a lot of detail this is basically what would have happened if you really wanted the hundred dollar castle could have got that if you saved enough and you wanted to get this one you can now get this one this is definitely just like fills the market so perfectly because you've got yourself your cheap castle for a hundred which still is not cheap by any by any means of the name 
Uh, but you've definitely got yourself for like, okay, if you want to buy this as like a present for someone, you know, you want to give them something to look forward to. If you have like an, someone that's interested in Lego and wants kind of like a night set, uh, but they're definitely younger and they're definitely going to have a chance of destroying it. You know, I think that's definitely the set for them. You know, you get some knights, you get yourself dragon. You've definitely got yourself a good versus evil kind of dynamic there where you can either burn the castle or you can kind of fight off the dragon, which fits perfectly for that. But if you want something for display that's going to just look absolutely fantastic, and you know, you can have a lot of uh, scene creation with all the various minifigures here. You can kind of have uh, some kind of scenarios going on where you can set up a display where maybe there's a meeting in the castle you know you've got yourself an attack on the castle with some ladders very good here you've got a lot of angles where you can take this from and i think this is going to work well especially with all the interior space if you want to kind of dollhouse it you definitely can which honestly great and to me this is always going to be a cheese room right there where the cursor is it is a reminder of the older castle but that is the cheese room no doubt about it very good here you've got a lot of stuff the falcon knights really getting uh falcon and lion knights here because you do have the lion knights as well not too sure if the falcon knights are just visiting or also a part here but definitely the lion knights are really rolling it over here with their stunning new castle very good here definitely gonna set some people back definitely gonna sell out very very soon but man is this a beautiful castle or what like, honestly, stunning and breathtaking. Now, Marvel also getting some love. As per usual with LEGO, you do get to start off by getting a great little I Am Groot here. With Groot, of course. Who would have guessed it? Uh, you do get this wide-eyed Groot here, which does have a nice bit of detail there. You've got yourself this figure, which is posable, and you can do some fun stuff with it if you really want to. If you're a fan of Groot, you might want to pick this up. It is $55, which is still pretty for the pretty expensive for this little guy here but if you're a fan of Groot you probably wouldn't mind spending that amount to get this little guy here because it's not that bad of a set next up we do have the nano gauntlet which was designed by iron man here used by him later as well as the hulk to try and stop thanos and all of that jazz which looks pretty good if you got yourself the thanos gauntlet this might complete the collection or the infinity gauntlet you've got yourself some movie scenes there as well there's some fun stuff definitely going to be fun for those people that want it not really the craziest thing here uh, but definitely looks nice for those who want it and also the sanctum sanctorum is going to be one of those sets that some people are going to have a lot of fun with like the daily bugle for spider-man you've got your doctor strange fans going to be pretty wild about this one maybe i don't know but it is going to cost you 250 dollars and it's definitely a nice build here to get yourself a decently sized build with some interchangeability here with some of the walls being flipped around and replaceable to have some battles inside outside and all the jazz you've got some staircases you've got some nice little interior space which can be quite easily accessed for the right person some books there and just kind of like a decent amount of interior with a bunch of references, I can assure you. So this is definitely going to be an expensive build, but one that some people might find really enjoyable. There we go again with some of the interchangeable walls. So you can have some fun stuff that can happen. Also, the dimensional door there to take you where you might want to go. Good display piece, good play piece. Still pretty expensive though. Lego Minecraft also getting some sets here with the skeleton spawner here or the skeleton dungeon as it does have you the ability to summon some skeletons on command to have you uh, fighting some definitely evilish things here with some fun little stuff here you've got a little bit of sand there or stalactites stalagmites there do kind of spike at some people you know get some stabs on but also you've got yourself some bushes and some fun stuff there you got yourself a record there in the chest and the ability to do some spins of the spawner to make things summon now you've got yourself some leaves there some running water and three skeletons so four minifigures in total to kind of add to the play there pretty nice set though if you want yourself a skeleton spawner and you can now get it or if you want some of the minecraft skeletons really easily 35 dollars and you've got three of them pretty good deal i would say 
if you want it. Uh, Lego Minecraft isn't for everybody, but if you want this set, you can now pick it up. On the topic of Minecraft, we also have Village Restoration Project, or the Abandoned Village, where you've got a bunch of fun stuff. You've got yourself a scarecrow, you've got yourself a black cat, you've got yourself some zombie villagers as well, with a little bit of an overgrown garden there, some fire, of course, and also a little bit of a house. You've got yourself a market, a farm, a little bit of interior space there that you can move into your abandoned house. A lot of cleanup that you can have so you can either have yourself the zombie village or you can clean it up clean it up to call it your own pretty nice there it is going to set you back 45 dollars pretty standard for minecraft it is on the upper side of the price point uh but you can definitely have some fun with these sets if they're your cup of tea if not there's probably something else that's going to pique your interest but that's it for minecraft surprisingly only two sets which is pretty interesting to say the least Monkey Kid, uh, with three sets this time around. First of all, we've got the Dragon of the East, which is a four-legged dragon just kind of tanking about, doing its own thing. We do have some deep-sea exploration over here as well. It's great characters here. You've got yourself Rumble, the Dragon of the East, and some other guys right there with Mr. Tank and Monkey Kid there. You do have the Dragon of the East piloting the Dragon of the East. And, of course, you've got yourself a Staff Submarine and also a little bit of Diver with some exploration with the b green flame here, which I have the red one, so I might get the green one. Probably not, though. Not really the biggest fan of this dragon. However, if someone wants a mechanized dragon, which has some coral and just has a bunch of sea life around it, this might be the set for you. Pretty interesting there with 880 pieces for $80. Pretty interesting. If you want to go on a little bit of a scavenger hunt for an underwater flame, go ahead, be my guest. Next up here, we do have the team van with, again, a definitely interesting design here with the portable base uh, with a tuk-tuk motorbike, also a go-kart, and some interesting of the new stud shooter designs with a flying horse dragon there. You do got Sandy the cat, of course, I believe it's Sandy the cat. You've got Pigsy there, firing off some fun stuff over there, and also just an interesting design there with the blue fire coming in this set, uh, with some spring-loaded shooters. Don't normally see those on other sets, however, Monkey Kid does make an exception. You've got yourself a little bit of an arcade machine, which is pretty nice, and you've got yourself a decent amount of interior space with some uh, eating area. You've got yourself a little bit of a design studio or storage, because that is the a little dragon that we saw uh you do get a telescope a little bit of maybe a pool area there and a garden uh you do get yourself an at-home gym and the play area with a uh, ping pong uh, table and the arcade machine of course and then you've also got the main van which just has storage for the go-kart and maybe some more area to put your minifigs in don't really get too many good shots of the actual vehicle itself which is pretty unfortunate for a little bit of an overview but you can definitely fit some stuff in there and it's pretty big we'll set you back 130 dollars but you definitely get a lot and of to wrap up our monkey kid segment we do have the heavenly realm which is going to set you back 190 dollars however it's going to cause you a bunch of chaos here with this very nice looking build very bright but also looks very good a lot of clouds there you do get a lot of monkeys in the set again you do get some other characters here and also monkey kid as to be expected who's on his phone once again you do get a dog as well and also just a fun looking build here which has a lot of diversity here you can fold it up a bit or fold it out to access the play area can't tell too much of this uh from like the angle you can see this right here which is pretty interesting also a nice little tree there with some heart-shaped peaches and also a bunch of people here so a lot of minifigs a lot of play space what exactly all of this does uh who knows really good question looks like a very good set to buy but uh do i know what's going on not a clue